Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Zen 2, the successor to Zen Plus and built on TSMC's 7 nanometer node. It's the architecture for AMD's third generation Ryzen processors, and today I've got some interesting details on it, as well as Zen 3. First up, remember that AMD's Epic Server CPUs are set to be the first processors built on Zen 2, and thanks to that, we've got our first leak. On the SciSoft database, an engineering sample for an upcoming Epic CPU was spotted. What's interesting is that it comes with an unbelievable 256 megabytes of L3 cache. You can see it's 16 times 16 megabytes, which actually tells us quite a bit. For one, because Epic is made from 8 chiplets, each with 8 cores, it tells us that chiplets are likely made up of two CCX modules, meaning the earlier understanding that AMD doubled the core count on their CCX modules is likely untrue. They just don't really point out the individual modules. With that said, what's interesting is that given each module does have double the cache, this would give every upcoming Zen 2 based CPU, well, double the cache. So we should definitely expect third generation Ryzen to have it as well. And having double the cache would likely help with latency issues by lowering cross module communication needs. Now, some are speculating that the massive I.O. on Epic keeps a copy of the cache for a quick grab from each chiplet, meaning that while technically it does have double the cache, there's really just one and then a copy of it. The problem with that theory is that I'd argue it's tough to keep those copies accurate enough. Either way though, Zen 2 is definitely looking to be a nice improvement over Zen Plus, though costs are always a question. Let's just hope AMD isn't forced to raise prices over their last generation. Next up for today, it looks like Intel might be giving us more details on their upcoming discrete GPUs at a press conference set for December 11th. The event was originally reported by DigiTimes to be devoted to their graphics cards, but the official word from Anantech is that it's an update on their architecture. With that said, architecture can easily extend to GPUs and likely will. Let's hope the update isn't to wait for a better update in two years. Now, if you want GPU news, you won't have to look far because MSI just announced one of the first 1060s with GDDR5X RAM. And for those who aren't aware, Nvidia silently launched new GTX 1060 GPUs with the only difference being the inclusion of GDDR5X. The MSI Armor comes with 60GB of GDDR5X and while we don't have any benchmarks just yet, remember that it uses the same die as the 1070, 1070 Ti, and 1080. That, coupled with such a quiet launch, tells me there probably isn't a difference and using GDDR5X is just a byproduct of utilizing Ben 1080s. Lastly for today, in an interview with AMD's CTO, we got some interesting information on Zen 3, the architecture that will make up Ryzen's fourth generation. There wasn't much discussed except for what he said about the 7 nanometer plus node, which will basically be AMD's talk and the TikTok approach they've taken similar to Intel. He stated that they'll quote, primarily leverage efficiency with some modest device performance opportunities. Basically, I'd say for desktop gamers, the chip to definitely look at will be their Zen 2 third generation Ryzen. We already knew that it would be a much bigger jump than Zen Plus, but now we definitely know that there won't be much in the way of a power boost after Zen 2 until probably the fifth generation processors. So you'll at least know that you won't buy third gen just for it to be overshadowed greatly the next year. Whether that's a good or bad thing to you, it's at least something we can pretty well predict with this information. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for AMD's next generation CPUs or are you just ready for Intel's discrete GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.